UCLA at Oregon State. Corvallis is a tough barn to play in. And guess what? DJU. Unbelievable performance this guy had. Unbelievable. And you look back on it and you're like, wow. Was Tony Elliott that much of a bum? Was he that much of a bum? Because DJU, I mean, he had that uh, the mishap against Washington State, which, by the way, he didn't play great. Threw a pick in a big moment, sure. Washington State just played a fantastic game that game. It's on the road. Uh, this is against UCLA. You could argue is one of the best defenses in the Pac-12, right? And they've been playing like that, especially because Utah's so injured. Their entire roster is just decimated by injury. But, man, credit DJ. Credit that running back room. Credit Martinez. Credit Fenway for both getting it done on the ground uh, when they needed to. And Yeah, I mean, Dante Moore, again, looked like a freshman. But that's on okay. The on the road. On the road. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sure as a UCLA fan, you're not happy to hear me say, oh, it's okay that five-star freshman. He's a freshman. Come on. Like, let, let's chill out. Silver lining for UCLA, right? Your your hardest games that you have to play on the road, you've already played. And you lost both of them, and your quarterback looked like a freshman in doing so. But the rest of the way, your road games are at Arizona. And with all due respect to them, it's not quite Corvallis. Or, or Utah, right? And then at USC, which we know how kind of, you know, and that, that environment really is. Um, and Carson steals a stud, I think. So we'll, we'll see how what they do from here. Sorry, I'll go back. Yeah. I, again, two good teams. Two good te- I took the over on both these guys. Eight and a half. That's the number to beat. I, I think both of these teams can still hit that. So that, that's my, my UCLA schedule from this point, I believe, is a a little bit not as tough as the Oregon State schedule. So in terms of that dynamic there, I guess I was happy that Oregon State won. I also, we also picked them. I think we both picked them. Uh, good game from the Bees, man. They, I know they played that one game against Washington State, but everyone's talking about Oregon and Washington. Uh, just wait until uh, – does Washington have to go to Corvallis? Yes, Washington does. Oregon gets Oregon State at home. Yeah, that that that's gonna be a tough game, but just just watch out, man. Watch out, Washington fans. Watch out for these beefs, man. Especially on the road. Yeah, this game didn't get quite the national tread that it it definitely got overshadowed by the other, you know, obviously Which high profile wild. game on the Pac-12. But these are two two top twenty teams, right? Like really good football teams, and TJU and Oregon State played really good football. Really good football. They jumped on them. Obviously, the two interceptions early by Dante Mori through another one later were tough, and that obviously helped Oregon State. But yeah, I mean, this is this is a good Oregon State football team. This really is, and it's it's good to see them, you know, play up to their capabilities and not losing game in which they had a chance to win, and which we've seen yeah. teams do that do all along in this offseason. Their schedule is not bad at all. Obviously, at the end, is tough. The next three weeks, four weeks with the bye, are pretty manageable, right? And obviously manageable, Arizona at Arizona. That's a good football team. We talk about Arizona's good football team at Colorado. Who knows? But then I'm going to be circling both those games, especially if they if they upset Washington. I think that Oregon, Oregon State game has potential to, to be a massive game, a massive game there in, in Eugene, Oregon there. Oregon State's probably going to be a top 10 team by the time they play or by the time they play Washington and others. So, yeah, it, it's awesome. We, we're super excited about Jonathan Smith and Oregon State and, and even UCLA too. You know, they'll, they'll do well down the stretch. But, yeah, Pac-12, man, buckle up. It's going to get intense.